Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how to choose the correct filter for your cameras. Um, basically, if you have, let's say, one of these lenses, it's a 15 millimeter prime lens, you're not going to be looking for a 50 millimeter um, UV filter or any type of filter you're looking for, a polarizer or any filter, will be actually, you can locate the number right here on your lens. It will say, like this one will say 52. So although it's a 50 millimeter lens, okay, right here you can see that, you do have to look for a 52 millimeter um, UV filter. So this one has a UV filter on it. Uh, so you can see that UV filter says 52 millimeter, okay? So that goes for that one, for example. It goes the same thing if you're looking for a bigger lens, such as this one. This one's a 70 to 300 millimeter lens. So you're not going to be searching for a 70 millimeter lens um, UV filter. You're going to be looking again at your lens for the number. So you just turn around your lens and look for that number. So there we go. So there's the number once again. It tells us a 58 millimeter. So if you look at the um, UV filter that I put on this one, you will see that it says 58 millimeter. Okay, it doesn't say on the sides, this one. So it should say in the inside. So in the inside of the filter, it does say 58. Um, they usually do say outside, but this one, it says outside. Anyways, um, that's how you pick your filter for it. It goes the same with any type of lens. Um, here I've got a 10 to 22 millimeter lens. And same thing, you're going to be looking f for this one. For example, the filter that I have on it. Let's just take a quick look at it. So same thing, you just have to turn it around and look for the number. Um, okay, that's why we couldn't see the number. Anyways, and this one's not that visible, but um, you can see it through the lens, kind of. These are really dark polarizer ones, so you can't really see through it. Um, so bad example there, but as you saw in the other lenses, that's how you pick your UV filter. Um, I wouldn't go for the cheapest UV filter, especially if you get like good lens such as this one or a 10 to 22 millimeter you don't really want to get a cheap uh, piece of glass in front of your really expensive glass that you just bought um, you do want something that's uh, pretty good so you there's filters that go from twenty dollars to three hundred dollars or even more expensive than your lenses um, it's up to you how much money you got I go for the medium range uh, UV filters, I don't see it necessary to get the um, most expensive one, I do get them online, they're always a bit cheaper, so I do suggest doing that, and um, yeah, that's how you pick one, if you guys have any more questions or anything uh, regarding Mac products or how to install anything um, about photography or Mac, once again, just um, right here on my channel, and don't forget to subscribe and rate.